Welcome to my channel, Old Person. If you like my videos, please click like and don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the e some of the easiest ways to increase your experience. If you look at the the green bar down there, it says 25. And what you want to do if if you're ever going, you know, when you're just starting off in survival, that's not going to, you know, you're not going to really need it that much. But when you start doing things like enchanting, um, that's when you want your experience level to be 30 or greater. One thing you can do is, I know there's these extreme examples of going into the nether or fighting the dragons and all that, but I like kind of everyday more mundane things that helped me increase my experience level. Okay, so look at where the green bar is. See how it's kind of midway above uh, the pink pick, uh, pickaxe. So, okay, here we go. Now watch what happens. When you breed, you breed. Okay, see how, so it just, when you breed the animals, it increases the bar by just a half little thing. Okay, watch this. Well, it's a little bit more, it's about 75%. So, keep breeding. Okay, let's go find some more sheep. Once you have bred, uh, you know, uh, okay. You have to go find some more sheep. I am um, on this island. I'm trying to selectively breed for more of the gray sheep. Okay, there we go. Oh, that barely, it's like the pigs. Get more with the pigs. Let's see. Oh, okay. Maybe it's like every two that you breed, you get a full bar. Uh, let's see, we got more pig, pigs over here. There are piggies. So the pigs like the carrots. Yeah, okay, that's what it is, sorry. So I need to, oh, y'all all follow me. There we go. Okay, they, they should breathe, that should raise me up another bar. I guess it's kind of unpredictable. Anyway, okay, so that's one way. And it does take some time, obviously. It's not a fast operation. Okay, another great way to get experience is to go mining. So the thing, the minerals that you want to really look for are red dust, charcoal, lapis lazuli, which is uh, blue, emeralds, of course, green, and diamonds. Uh, of course, the emeralds, lapis, and diamonds are in short supply, so you don't find much of that. But the red dust and charcoal, you can find a lot more of. And what I have found is that some of my islands, if you've been watching some of my vid videos, you realize I live on an island. I'm in the ocean world. My spawn island has the most diamonds uh, and emeralds. I mean, I'm sorry, and lapis lazuli. Emeralds I find mostly uh, when you go into those uh, really, really tall, you know, the biomes had the really, really tall mountains. And you'll, you know, you'll get a lot of emeralds there, but I usually end up getting my emeralds from my villagers. I'm, so I'm not really out there to find, to mine for uh, emeralds. Anyway, but everywhere you go, you got coal and red dust. So I'm just going to start, oh, well, there you go. That was easy. <laughs> okay, this is red dust. Let's go in a little bit further. Put a little torch on. So, okay, now watch, watch. Oh, okay, so look at the green bar at the below where my experience is. Number 26, watch what happens. See that? And I have to admit, I have so much red dust. 
It just, I have way too much red dust. I really do not need it. The only reason I continue to mine it is to get the experience. So that was 29 red dust. Not, oh, oh, here we go. Now here's coal. Now watch this. See, you don't get as much with coal. Now, there's also the thing. I want you to look here. My pickaxe says uh, efficiency, no, fortune. I think that that increases how much you can get. It's fortune three, fortune two. I did bring my other pickaxe that's fortune four. What that means is that every time you click one of these blocks, you get a lot more materials. But what I haven't noticed, I haven't paid attention to it, does that mean you get more experience? I'm not sure, and I don't think so. Oh, well, there we go, got more red dust. A lot of times they're kind of get them all together. Okay, so I've listed the things that you want to mine, focus on mining to get experience. And this is so easy. This is so much easier than fighting bunches of you know, monsters and stuff. Okay, so here we are back at my home base. And I have a big old blob of raw iron. And we're going to go smelt it so you can see. And like I said, it's copper and gold. Those are the ones that do give the greatest experience when you smelt them. So 20 things of uh, ingots, whatever they're called, just raw iron. I think the ingots are like the little tiny little pieces of iron. So each of those gives you an iron ingot. Ah, that's the ingot. Okay, let's go check the iron. 27. Let's wait till it gets to 30 so we can see, really not see how high the bar is. If I remember correctly, I think that every time, I think that every 10 iron ingots will give you one little bar of the experience. <laughs> so if I'm right, here we go, 30 bars should raise it three bars approximately. Okay, let's see. Oh, ooh, even more. So do you see, and like I said, it's the, the gold does even more. Now, of course, iron is the most plentiful, so it's easy to find. If you want to go fishing, which is a really, really, really super, very pleasant way to, uh, to get experience, it does take a long time. But you're always catching stuff, so it's worth it. It's worth the, you know, worth the effort. If you're just starting off, the way you get string is from when you kill a spider. But if you're mining and you find an area where there are spiders, you can use shears to um, cut down the cobwebs and turn them into string. Okay, so you sit here, if you haven't fished before, so watch the bobber, and you'll see the bubbles coming in. Now, check out where my bar is on the experience on, it's, all, it's almost reaching the, my, okay, here we go. Yeah, so it only fills up a bar by about, each bar, if you were to break it into four pieces, about, okay, wait, hold on. Yeah, okay, well that one was more. I'm going to say about 30% of each little bar. About 30%. Okay, I just broke that one. Okay, that one had actually fished in more. Here, let's, let's keep paying attention. Maybe it's 50%. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you. There's another way to get experience and that is to trade with your villagers. And if you watch my other video, I have a really long video that shows kind of like the basics of what I did to set it up and what I learned. But one of my farmers, as I said before, likes pumpkins. 
Let's get a bunch of pumpkins. He likes pumpkins and wheat. And again, every time you trade, you can get different items. You can also get emeralds. And, um, but you also get experience. So let me, my farmer also likes wheat. So I'm gonna collect some wheat. I do have this one chest here, which I'm finding makes it easier because everything's in one place. Oh, at one point, oh, here we go. Clay ball, let me go get some more clay because one of the guys like, likes a lot of clay. Bring in the extra wheat there. I don't have enough melons. Wool, but I think one of them takes 22 things of wool. And to sight can increase that. And one of them has something like that. So you still want to take emeralds with you. Because you never know. Okay, let me go get more clay. Clay, uh, you can collect at the bottom of rivers and ponds. And my guy that likes clay, I don't want to get rid of all of it because I do like to use it for certain things. So, let's see if I have anything else that they might like. And I do have to close it fast. Everyone else, all my animals can teleport in. Okay, so this is the cleric. He's back in here. Rotten flesh. But he likes 32 rotten. Let me turn that down. He still won't take the rabbit's feet. So, screw you. <laughs> this guy is always staying on top. It drives me nuts. Because I can never see him. Um, okay, so he's one who likes the glass. And there we go. So you see, did you watch the... Did I bring it? Oh, I forgot to bring... He likes flint. I only have three things of flint. Oh, here's... Okay, here's the thing. Oh! if um, Okay, this is worth it. Look at this. Bye. Give him one, oh there, now we're talking. Give him one emerald and 10 gravels, which I have lots of gravel. Okay, so that's cool. So now I'm on 28, cool. Okay, Farmer John, let's see here. So we get, there we go. And pumpkins, which I should get two emeralds. So for each trade, you get about almost a full bar. And glistening melon, I think there's some use for that. Here, let's go ahead and do the carrots. That's good. Um. This guy always has good stuff. Oh, he's the clay ball guy. And let's see. Wow, look. So I just did all of that clay. And. And. Let's see what else has he got. Um. Come on, how many more can we do? See, his prices are pretty good. Uh, this guy, lame. He will always be lame. Oh, okay, good. So it's 18 things of wool. Anyway, um, so that's what you do. And hope you learned something today.